recording. Okay, so ask this uh, lovely question. Someone who's done a lot of spiritual work uh, and has let go and has lost a lot of interest in the world and has lost uh, a lot of their attachments and feels a calling for solitude, wilderness, and living a simple life and being away from any distractions, maybe in a, in a built up area. Well, everything, uh, everything is context. And there was a discussion earlier on about geographicals. Everything is context. And there does come a time uh, when um, the, it's the discernment. You could say it's the spiritual discernment. Uh, when one hasn't done very much spiritual work, there can be the idea from the ego that uh, if you go to a different location, things are going to be a lot easier. So if I'm having problems with donuts in London, uh, if I went to the Bahamas, I wouldn't have any more problems with donuts. Or it could be that uh, people are annoying in London. Uh, if I went to the Bahamas, then I wouldn't meet annoying people or whatever it is. So that's what often what we call it. Um, that's coming from a place of ego. And the idea to move uh, is, is, is addictive in nature, just like if I ate a different donut, I'd feel better. It's like if I moved to a different location, I'd feel better. And what's actually happening there uh, was explained, I, I believe, by Ramana Maharishi. It says, like, if you really want something and you get the thing you want, your ego shuts up for, for a few minutes or a period of time, uh, but then your ego comes back in and reinflates after you've got the thing that you were fantasizing about. So let's say I'm fantasizing about eating a donut. Um, and really what's happening is I'm in a state of distress, wanting to eat the donut later on. Uh, and then what happens is when I eat the donut, my ego shuts up and I feel a spiritual experience. I feel happy and comforted and, and joyful. Now that isn't because I'm more spiritually aware because I've just eaten a donut and I'm, I'm more free. The donut gives me freedom. Uh, that's just because my ego just shut up for a while and I've got a better spiritual connection. But the ego comes back and then says, you need another donut or a different donut. Maybe you need vanilla donuts, not jam donuts, whatever it says. So that can also happen with, um, with, with, uh, with the ego where it says like, this place is awful, uh, you know, the, uh, London bakeries make terrible donuts, so why don't you go and live in Austria? Austria make the best pastries uh, down there. So that, that would be a geographical that you'd be happier uh, from an ego level. Now, actually, you'll find with a lot of people who've done a lot of advanced spiritual work is um, they've let a, lot, let a lot of things go. So they've lost a lot of their attachments, a lot of the meaning, uh, a lot of their hooks to a, a location have disappeared. It's very, very common. In fact, I think it's mostly the case that um, at a certain point in one's spiritual journey, one would just suddenly leave everything and go off to a completely different location. Um, that happened with Dr. Dr. Hawkins, my teacher, Dr. David R. Hawkins, who um, had a profound spiritual experience, even though he had an enormous practice in New York, a very eminent uh, therapist, you, had, you can understand it. You, you have these overwhelming spiritual experiences and it's like there isn't a capacity really to function uh, that well in the world. And it's kind of obvious the spirit takes you to leave everything and takes you off somewhere. So he was uh, led spiritually, I would say, to Arizona, Sedona, uh, to live in a cabin and go deeper into spirit and, and his, his faith uh, and love for God. So that's, a, that's not an ego direction, that would be a spiritual uh, calling. Now, if, a, say, a spiritual seeker has, you know, is, for example, living in London and has let go of all their attachments, they're not interested in jobs or, or various relationships, and there's nothing hook, and there is an inner calling because, the, you know, you've let go of so many of the ego attachments. It's not really an ego idea, but it's more of an inner calling, an inner voice, uh, a deeper inspiration to go and move somewhere, then uh, how, you know, how do you do that? Well, you know, I think the thing to do that, if you want to do, if you, if you feel that your spirit is asking you to move somewhere, like it's asking you to move to uh, Brighton or something, then, um, but something's not letting you go, 
all you have to do then, if you feel quite clear that it's uh, your, your spirit telling you to move, is just transcend, um, transcend anything that's stopping you. Because then what, what would be stopping you from going to say you wanted to live in Brighton, what would be stopping you from going there would be your ego, if, you, if you're sure that it's your inner spirit that is asking you to move to Brighton, then all you have to do, and you're not moving there, but it seems a deeper calling is to move to say Brighton, then you just uh, put, on, you put on your spiritual agenda to transcend everything that's not allowing you to go. So let's say uh, things are coming up like, um, you know, uh, what could come up uh, that you won't have friends. You're not gonna have friends in, uh, you're not gonna have, if you get ill in Brighton, uh, and um, you won't have your network of friends to come and say hello and, and see how you're doing. So then that would be an ego, an ego thing tying you to say, for example, living in London when your spirit's telling you to go and live in, in Brighton. So all you do is transcend your fears that are still hooking you and giving you that uncertainty that you should stay in London. So everything, so every time you think of going to Brighton, your spirit's telling you to go to Brighton, but every time, and then your head comes in, you know, it comes in and says you, you won't have any friends there. Uh, it comes in, you know, um, uh, you'd be, you know, the, the place you're going to live in might not be very good or you run out of money. So you just have to transcend all your ego fears, which are giving you uncertainty and are making you stay or giving you indecision in London and you transcend them. Well, how do you transcend them? One is if there's fears or emotions, you just sit with them and feel them out uh, through the Hawkins letting go or my, you can watch my feel the feelings videos. You can uh, keep observing the thoughts or fears uh, and then they'll dissolve and then it should be quite easy once you've cleared all, the, all your hooks to staying in London and all your uncertainties, easy to say, for example, move to Brighton. Um, and um, definitely everything will come up that's your hooks to not going. So you can uh, transcend them through the observer, feel, feel the feelings through the Course in Miracles through cancelling beliefs, uh, through um, whatever spiritual tool, even through the 12 steps. If you just, uh, like for example, the step four prayer, fear prayer, God, I humbly ask you to remove my fear of moving to Brighton, if it be your will for me to move to Brighton and, um, and direct me to what you have me be, which is to have courage uh, to move to Brighton, if it be your will. So, you know, just those prayers and inventorying around it. Um, but anytime you don't follow God's will, you are being selfish. If it's, if it's clear that it's God's will, uh, then, then not to do that would be to follow your ego, which, would, which is always not necessarily a bad thing, but it means that you won't be as happy or go to the next level of consciousness where you can be more connected to God and more of service uh, to, to the world. I mean, even if you're in a cave in the middle of uh, Tibet, if you go to those deeper levels of consciousness, that light does spread all over the world. You don't have to be um, amongst people for your light because we're all connected as one. Uh, so those would be the things to transcend them. Just, um, do, just do a transcendence job on any sort of doubts or fears. Okay, I'm going to stop there and come back 